I think what I am most excited about the women's retreat this year is that we have done a real outreach to young women. It is something that I'm very passionate about because I feel like the older women are, are really needed to mentor these young women. And when we were talking about how we were going to do the meetings, I had young women say, we don't want to be pushed off to the corner. We want to be part of the main group. We want to be part of that and then have about breakout sessions for us, for our special needs, but we want to be part of the whole. And I love that concept. So we've tried to really include everyone, listen to everyone's stories, let everyone have a, a chance to speak. Something that's been very exciting is that the Lord worked a real miracle for us in that we lost our young adult speaker a month before the program was scheduled to begin. And the women's ministry team dropped on their knees and said, God, what are we going to do? And it was amazing to see what he did do in that he provided not only a perfect retreat speaker for us, but Andrea Jacobson, who is the pastor, youth pastor at Spencerville. She was planning a young women's retreat at the exact weekend, and she did not have a venue. So we did not have a speaker, she did not have a venue and the two came together as only God can do it. And what makes it so exciting is we have not only received Andrea as our youth speaker, but we have 65 young women from Spencerville here with us as part of our women's retreat. We've been praying from the very beginning that the goal would be that every woman who comes would leave this place feeling more prepared to fight her battles. Our theme has been the woman is a warrior because we're very aware how Satan has come and just sometimes overcome us with his temptations, with his, the burdens. And we really have wanted our women to leave here feeling certain that they know better how to fight. To me, that is what women's ministry is. Equipping women of all ages to fight the battles, to stand for right, and to strengthen their connection with Jesus. Because really, that's what it's all about.